Hey there, folks. I'm back. Uh, d -d 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 yeah, everything's fine. Let's get into it. I mean, I'm actually recording. That's a good first step. Excuse me. Just need to stare at the numbers for a little bit. There's frames encoded thing, like how many frames it's after recording. Just need to stare at that for a moment. Who's assume that's what it's in about? I just know it ticks up when I'm recording, so I'm good. That's what I'm going off of. I just, sorry, I just end up having to stare because I start disbelieving my own eyes. Still marked as looted, so we keep waiting. I'm just like, glad I have food right now. I know I could send out people to scavenge and all that, but don't really want to do that. Because I can see it going poorly. Like, or roaring rap places or whatever. At least people are getting some training. But I don't know how much is going to who and all that. So it could be next to nothing. Actually being, um... Like, people may only be getting, like, ten points each or something. You know? It's, I'm... I doubt, you know, one unit's getting, like, two hundred points. You know, I would actually be useful. It's late night, so we have to head back out here and wait till morning. Ooh, wait. We'll go in there now. Dawn's a bit early, but it's good enough. Go to village center. The dogs in this look weird. I think it's just the head. Just whatever way the body looked, it looked less like a dog, like the you know dogs I'm used to seeing in games. More like some weird like dog-like aberration. Looks a bit better now, but, you know, like my eyes have adjusted to it kind of thing, but still. Oh, here's the guy. Let's save. Ah, oh, Captain Topless. Uh, good day, sir, and welcome to Balugne. Uh, I am the leader of this village. Um, Calacas, the abbot of Finian, s uh, sent me. Ah, the abbot is a good... Oh, my reputation's improved. The abbot is a good man to respond to our call so promptly. I asked him for three heroes, and in fact, three heroes have come. You are the last to arrive, so you are the most anticipated, since the evil that has befallen our land is terrible indeed. Many have died, others have fled, and the few that remain can hardly keep their sanity. Stop. Three heroes? Uh, what do you mean? The evil that affects us is magical, so we must fight it with magic. The tree is the number of the old gods, so the old man said tree should be the number of heroes. Any other number will fail and die. At first we did not believe him, you understand. We are Christians, and our priest said the old man was a pagan and should be burnt, and that's what we did. But we're idiots. The old gods are still here, and they want revenge. Now the old man is dead and cannot, cannot aid us anymore, and our priest has disappeared. You burnt the old man? You deserve what you're going through. You are, you, you are cunts, yeah. <laughs> but that, that's, I want to play nice, you know. That's why I, I, yeah, I'm not being grumpy with people most of the time, anyway. What else does, what else did this old man say? The old man, that old man was powerful. He prayed to demons, performed rituals, sacrificed and a sacrificed animals. He lived in a hut from which he sold potions and ointments. Many believe that was because of, that it was because of him that all this evil is happening to us. That he invoked something. Before a priest ordered us to burn him, he told us that we should bring three heroes, or that the evil that lurks around us will end up destroying us. What evil is attacking you? A month or so ago, a shepherd disappeared. Three days later, we found his dismembered body near an old tree. That scared us, because an animal will never do that to a man. After that, no one, nobody left the village without a companion. But that did not help. A few days later, a group of people was attacked. Women and children disappeared. And l later, we found them dismembered. Were the men ignored? Like, was it only women and children in the group? 
we're demanding Nord. <laughs> they, they, they're like, just women, children, that's like, puff away. Like, disappear in puff of smoke. And it's just like, what the fuck's going on? <sighs> Sorry. I've always, it, that phrasing always sounds weird to me. It just, it's it, more of a pet peeve than anything else. So, yeah. I feel awkward getting any too detailed into it, but yeah, that's just... Ugh. It's a bit pet peeve. Children, I can understand, but... You know, it's just, you know, they're adults. They can handle themselves. Or at least... Yeah. Just because you're an adult doesn't necessarily mean you can handle yourself, but you're not a child, you know? This ends up seeming weird to me. <sighs> anyway, I don't want to get into another rant like I did in the... Not the last session, but the session before that. I don't want to get into another rant. I feel awkward doing these, because I don't... Oh, I presume people are coming here to listen to me commentate over videos, not comment over videos and rant about things that, you know, irritate me. But yeah, it just, it, it just always seems weird to me. That's all. Um, if you want, I can go into it in the comments, but I'll just continue on uh, here. Uh, da, 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 da. And we found them wait, uh, and, and we later found them dismembered. His hands tremble as he speaks. Then we hired a group of Norsemen for a lot of money, but the evil did the same to them as to our people, and their dismembered bodies were soon food for the crows. Then the old man told us to invite three heroes. Then we burnt them. Did you ask your lord for help? Yeah, this is an honest question, because to be honest, I think it's that guy. You know, dismembering bodies. I think it's the old man at the stone circle. He, he does human sacrifices. But then again, where is he compared to here? I think he's a fair bit away. Might be someone else. But anyway, you talk about evil. Why well, suspect the supernatural? Also, on a different note, maybe I'm just off base, but... Or I'm not off base, but... Taking it up incorrectly... You know, say the supernatural, ghosts, zombies, you know, ghosts, you know, spirits and all this. Well, zombies, I suppose, you know, it's a necromancer shout. You know, magic is considered supernatural. If there are things that natural, you know... I, I can't explain it, but it just... I remember just hearing an explanation like supernatural means it happens, it's not something that naturally happens or something. But it just. And then at the same time, I was hearing an explanation that, you know, ghosts are natural, you know, something that happens when people die. So it was both natural and yet not. So I'm just like getting confused here. Wouldn't they, they technically be natural if it's if it's a thing that happens when people die? It's just you eat food, you shit, you know. You die, you eat a ghost. I know, <laughs> so it's all just confusing gubbins to me. It's improved, huh? The the old gods are back, thirsty for blood after so many centuries. They've not only killed people and warriors, but we've seen them watching the village from afar. They announced they are coming for us. One of these days, the fog will fall, and then we will all die. Come on, man. No need to be sad. N now, now I'm here, and I'll take care of this problem. Tell me, who's watching you? When there is fog, we can hear their singing, and the howls of their wolves. We can even see their figures between dark wisps of fog. These creatures are huge. Well, except for her. Well, except her. Say nothing. He lowers his voice to a whisper. She is... Morgan, the Phantom Queen, the pagan goddess of battle and carnal encounters. She was worshipped before St. Patrick brought us the word of Christ. Actually, speaking f One second. Sorry, turn out background noise. Um, speaking of St. Patrick, there's a story here in Ireland. 
um, that he drove his snakes out of Ireland. No. Uh, I saw an explanation in, in a pamphlet. No. Snakes were symbolic for paganism. And evil. So, yeah. Of course, that's not what I believe, but, uh, well, by, you know, pagans being inherently evil or anything like that, but that's what apparently it's symb the story is symbol symbolic of. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Probably thinking, I'm not making myself sil sound silly now, am I? But yeah, apparently the whole, you know, Patrick driving snakes of our own thing wasn't a literal thing. I don't think we ever had snakes here. He was driving pagans out and people viewed them as evil. Yeah. To be honest, I don't care what religion you are as long as you're not a cunt. <laughs> I'm, I find it a waste of energy to hate people for, for shite. Unless they're actually harming people, you know? It kind of goes in with the rant from the other the other session a while back. Uh, it's like a few days ago for me, probably a while longer for ye. But yeah, it just feels like a waste of energy. So yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, we'll say a, a shield maiden. Let me just try and click through this. Um, I'll read it again next time. I just want to keep my reputation with the place as high as possible. Food center. Is this place greener than the last time? I oh, know, I swear the grass is greener. Or well, the ground is greener. I don't think I just paid much attention to it the last time. I was focusing too much on the Eldrick, the Eldrick dog over there. Okay, he, uh, stop what Dimitri heroes. Uh, what else did he say? What, uh, what evil's attacking you? Why it's, why it's supernatural? Um, say nothing. Say nothing. Uh, my grandfather told me stories of they didn't even read to the line when he criticized me for talking too loudly. I remember him saying, She may hear you. But beyond that, I don't remember. Anyway, my grandfather told me stories about her. The Raven Goddess selects who is going to be slain, and takes the blood from their hearts, along with their valor. When they arrive on the battlefield, they are already doomed. She appears as a beautiful, dark-haired woman, or sometimes as a crow. Uh, a beautiful maiden dressed with a hooded cloak. My grandfather said. She's usually found by a river, washing the clothes of men about to die. Centuries ago, she was one of the Tau Tua Ta de Danan, the demons that ruled the island before the gales arrived. Now she lives in City. City? Mm. The underworld, whose entry is the ancient mounds. Uh, she has left the ancient mound, uh, left the underworld, and has brought her beast with her. She will destroy us unless some hero defeats her and sends her back to her world. I do not believe in this Morgana, but I'll put an end to the murders, murders of your people. The fog always comes from the coast, and with it Morgana and her beasts. You have to go there if you want to find her. The other two heroes await you near the, near, near the burnt hunt of the old man, a few hours away from this village. They are looking for more clues as they await you. Be warned, when you leave this village and move towards the coast, be alert and flee from the fog. As Morgana or animals can catch you before the tree before the tree of you are joined. I will be alert. Thank you. Uh, farewell then. Oh, good that went off the map. I was kind of expecting it not to. You know from the directions given by Calchas that the old man's burnt hut isn't far from the village, but you're unable to see it. Deep, cold, and unnatural fog has blown over everything, unless you only see what is maybe a pace in front of you. As if this were, was, if, as if this were not enough, you hear wolves howling in the distance. 
each time closer and closer. Next, you, your ears are flooded with a melody. Morgana. Uh, Morgan? Morgan, sorry. M Morgan has found you. Do I have my troop? Yes. <laughs> you get full renown for killing a demon. The song, the cries of beasts, uh, the fog, chaos, and angst. Ah, damn it. Can't read it. Christ. Christ. It, wa it wasn't demons, it was just a fuck ton of berserkers. Okay, meet the leader. I'm sorry, I need more people. I'm recruiting. I am the leader of this area. It was smart of you to ask me. What can I say? Uh, take these 500 coins. I'm trying to save his village and he still wants to gouge me for cat. So close to burning this village down myself. Alright. Um Actually, let's head back here to my ships. Okay, there's no way for me to take that on right now. Those guys are just too goddamn burly. Too and there's way too many of them. The only way for me to do that will be to I know, get more people. I, I, I need more people and a better army. And to be honest, the only way I can pull that off is if I can get more ships. Unless I want to start ferrying people back between places. Huh. Yeah, I think that's just a monastery. Or something. Um... I'm going to find a. Let's see, where's the standing? There's the ancient stone. Oh yeah, the ancient stones are on another fucking place. Yeah, no, he, the that rude guy was so not the person mutilating people. It was the um. B berserkers we ran into. I need to get more. I need a lot more berserkers. The one guy I have. Do I actually still have him? No. I don't have a berserker anymore. Fuck. Damn. He, he, that was a good soldier. That was, he was good. Stone row. Hmm. We want to pop in there. Sure, we'll go over here. Muscle lost him on a recent ship battle. Yeah, I need to get better equipment for my heroes, and I need to get more troops. Because if those are all berserkers and, you know, named heroes, I saw one. Um, what I have isn't enough. I may out. I'm not sure if I unnumbered them. They seem to have quite a few. I, I might, though. But I need more people. I'm higher level people at that. Do have a lot of sailors, though. But yeah, I need to get more people. Skills and attributes. Ooh, get another, get, get another point. Okay. Not sure if I should get another int. It gives me an instantly an extra skill point, which would be useful. Um, extra charisma might be nice. 